Hi, and welcome to the Sanctuary Starter Series. I'm Nikki, and I help homeowners create homes they love in their own style. Now, we created the Sanctuary Starter Series to bring your home back to life. You know, we've all very likely been working or teaching, you know, doing homeschooling and so forth from home. So we think it's time to actually just sort of give our homes a bit of a zhuzh and discover the sanctuary that it should be again. So this is part two in creating your sanctuary and today in this video we're going to continue talking about creating a sanctuary. Last video we talked about how you would ask yourself how you would define your sanctuary and the elements of creating your sanctuary and today we're going to talk about how to tap into what's around you. So look at your home environment. You know it's time to look to either new ways of living or simply adjusting to the new ways of living. You know, your home is somewhere where you should feel safe and secure and, you know, it's a roof over your head for one thing and it has four walls is another thing, but actually incorporating what is around you in your home and what is further out there in your community and there, there on is something that we really need to sort of justify and, and think about when we're creating a home environment. You know, we want to boost our sense of well-being and happiness. So we want to bring all the things that we love into our home environment. And that can begin with outside. <laughs> now look at what brings you happiness. You know, most of all, many of us when we're outside, it's, you know, it could be the sun rays or maybe the smell of flowers or that, you know, that fresh air, even the sounds of the birds. You know, even, you know, as I was creating this, I was sitting outside doing this because I needed some time outside. So open up your windows, you know, bring the outside in. You know, this doesn't necessarily always mean just plants, but it could also be the scents or even sounds that you feel or smell and everything outside. So, you know, do you have a pet bird? I'm not saying that you have to go out and get a pet bird, but it's just an idea of, you know, honestly, you know, have you thought about having a pet or, you know, if it's going too far, don't worry about it. Maybe, maybe beautiful paintings of pets or animals and so forth, or even bringing, you know, gorgeous paintings of your favorite landscape or photos. You know, do you try bringing in flowers though? You know, one thing that you need to do when you are looking at bringing the outside in is just think outside the square, obviously, but besides just bringing in flowers what about a climber <laughs> you know you don't just have to have a pot plant or a vase of flowers how about a climber coming into your house and really taking a bit of space in there then there's audio and visual no this doesn't mean the tv and audio system but it is about how we remind ourselves and our family and our experiences now our home environment is exactly that it's ours so we create our own sanctuary and it needs to represent us so showcase you showcase your family you know your experiences that make you happy that makes you secure and so forth remind yourself of you know the people that are around you they may not be there in your home with you but having photos of family or experiences around you is really lovely look to music you know do you have speakers can you just plug into those speakers and listen to your favorite music you know music isn't just for functions or barbecues you know we at our home we play music every weekend while my husband cooks breakfast breakfast and you know we've always been about promoting dancing and just being free in our home in a sense and admittedly I did wake my daughter up every day to music when she was really little but the important thing is is just to not only just think of the visuals in your home but the smells and the audio but lastly it is your world your home or our homes it, they are our sanctuaries and it's also our world of memories and our world of experiences so if you feel protected with warmth and coziness then make it cozy if you feel refreshed with bright sunlight then bring in those fresh smells and open up those windows bring in the sunlight you know if you feel relaxed with soothing sounds of nature or more upbeat tempos then close your eyes and just listen to the world Either way, it is your world. So create it as you see fit. Anyway, thank you for listening again, guys. And I look forward to having you on our next video for this Sanctuary Starter Series. Take care.